Have you ever wondered how pro players test? And I'm gonna give you guys a first-hand insight into how high-caliber players like myself approach playtesting and getting better at the game. Hi guys, I'm here with John Wilkin, or Kariba Overlord, and he is another Toronto duelist who has a couple of YCS tops. What? Seven. Sorry, I don't know his exact <laughs> number. So I'll say seven, okay? No, just say multiple. He is another Toronto duelist with several YCS tops. I've known him for quite a while now, and he's a fantastic player, but I have beat him pretty much every time I play him, bar maybe one or two occasions. That being said, I am playing Voiceless Voice for almost the first time here. And instead of showing you guys a little bit more testing where we know the decks a little bit, this is kind of first off testing. And you may see a lot of mistakes, but that's okay. We gotta start somewhere and we'll see all the critical errors that will help progress us forward. And even if I decide not to play Voiceless in the future, learning the deck will be helpful for when I play against it in the future, seeing the critical errors that can be made and the weaknesses so that I can push for them to happen when I'm playing against them in the future. Hi, my name is John Wilkin. And if you're familiar with the tale of David and Goliath, I am Goliath, destroyer of worlds. And I have come here to ruin the hopes and dreams of one Jesse Cotton. Now, I've heard he's made it to a few world championships and won a few YCSs, but the Overlord's in town, and I'm ready to destroy it. All right, Alec. All right, we meet again, Jesse. Last time we, last time we played, we played at a YCS. Was it LA or Philly we played? Uh, LA and Hartford and Toronto. It's not going well for me, but I beat you once, but uh, here we are. All right, good luck. Can you change uh, the past? All right. Oh, well, I, can't, I, can't win. I can't win either way. So yeah, yeah, all right, oh. cool. Yeah, I'll go first. Oh, right, yeah, good luck. You two duelist. This deck can be interesting to play. As is fine. Uh, I will normal summon Divine of the Herald and match with the effects. That's fine. I'm leading Divine here because I want to test your Imperm. I can play around it. I'm not really concerned about it. I do want to see if it's there. Now, I'm not going to send Arclight here because I have a pre-preparation of rights in my hand. And if I get uh, Droll and Lockbird there, I actually am kind of stuck. However, if it resolves and I send Trius and then my pre-prep gets Ash, the Trius will make sure I still get the play. Uh, and if I can draw it on the pre-prep, then I also am still just fine. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. I have a pretty good setup around any one-hand trap. The question is, will you have two? It's fine. Cool. I will send Trius to the grave. Ah, uh, I wish. <laughs> I miss those days. Uh, Diviner wasn't really that good in the Nerds deck, though, I think. Maybe in like, the newer version. Um, I like the ones that went to one. I've been playing with the draw with this. I think I do this here, pre-prep. Sure. So this will get me a ritual spell if I can find it. With here. Droll. All right, cool. I just go mark it. This might be annoying. The end of the world, I guess. All right, so I don't get the add here off my Skull Guardian, but it's not the biggest deal. I already get the low set up, and I still get to put a Spell Trap card in Spell Trap card zone. Now, the one thing here is I can't use the Spell card to search the Trap card and get the great setup. I will forego the target protection. That's okay. I still have several layers of interrupts, as well as all my hand traps in hand, and he's down a card, so. Um... The question is, how much weight do I go? I say about four summons further. Four summons further? I think you're playing against the wrong deck. Yeah, I could voice this voice sprayer here, so it's virtual summon. Sure. This one is 11, so. Mm -hmm. Or, you gain level, right? So 11? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's Yeah, better. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then effect special? Yeah. I got no box here, the no box effect is place. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm like, this is fine through draw. Like, I could obviously do more if it wasn't drawled, but what was it gonna do? Could I, go, could I put it on field first? No, I have to pre-prep the original, never mind. Uh, yeah, this was definitely the best I could do. The question is, do I go for the spell or the trap? I can't search off either of them this turn, which is unfortunate, but. Fortunate for, uh, for him. I'm this special someone's from deck, so I just do this. Can I put from my hand? I can. That's probably better then. So I'm gonna back this uh, effect here. Mm -hmm. Response. Does it cost? 
it's not. So effect, yeah. Uh, reveal shuffle one light ritual monster or one ritual spell from your hand or graveyard of the deck. A special summon a voiceless voice from the deck. Oh, that's cool. Uh, how many times have I summoned? One, two, three. Right. Okay, so I'm not playing. Around. I mean, I should do this not in in main phase. Uh, I guess to play around Nib, but I'm not even into Nib territory. See, so, yeah, we'll get the uh, the other one you want to end on, which is. I'm not untargetable now, is the biggest problem. I guess this should be in defense as well, it's bigger. Oh, that kind of cool. Yep, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just free value. Yeah, I just want to leave this in graves so that I have the floater effect in case I super poly. Hmm. Um, that's okay, clear on that. Uh, does this do anything during my turn? Uh, if it goes to grave while mm -hmm. I control, and I control this, it comes back. Okay. And then it searches again. But otherwise, um, it, it's hard tributes, places when it's summoned, and yeah, no, the non-targeting effect so, the spell. I don't so, have so this is a pop. This summons from deck. It's not a pop. It's an it's Infernity Burial. Uh, oh, this. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pop by sending itself or specials from deck. Okay. I can use I either, obviously. And then this is an Infernity Burial? It's an Infernity Barrier, not Burial. Oh, Barrier. Barrier. Oh, yeah. Barrier. Oh. No, no. This deck doesn't have in, like, an insane amount of negates, but they're relatively strong. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know too much about this new deck, but what I do know is that ritual decks usually get destroyed by Droll. So when I see it in my hand, I'm feeling confident, but he sets up a pretty formidable board through my hand traps. Um, stay in my face, main phase one. Yeah. Um, I'll activate Bonfire. Uh, effect. That's fine. And I'll special summon Saravis from my deck. So Saravis negates the summon and banishes the monster summons. It's a, like Thunder King Ryo, it only stops in here summons. Okay, that's yeah. All right, I want to get Saravis out here as soon as possible, just have the options available to me, as well as getting the cards in my hand. Now, I know this plays into talents, but pretty much I'll be holding this Skull Guardian until either I feel there's no point, there's a point of no return with talents won't help him, or for the talents. So as long as I'm keeping that check in mind, I can use my other interrupts pretty liberally. Um. Poplar's not in that. <laughs> <laughs> like, original. No, like <laughs> none of those cards. <laughs> like, uh, Flame Bird. <laughs> You know they say if you're getting every question wrong on the test, you actually kind of knew the answers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll add, I'll add a snake eye ash. Ash, sure. Um. Saravis. I've got the glove reprinted. I'll level summon ash. Use the effect. Use the effect. Uh, I'm gonna stop this. You didn't get bonfire. I don't know who's the talents, but how many cards in my hand? Four? Four. The talents take. You still need extenders after the fact. You need no box. It's not a negate for you to steal it. Yeah, I'm just going to negate this bro. Okay, so I wanted to give an Ash here because even though in theory he could have a way to extend past like a Divel Star, the Saravis could check the Divel Star pretty well and he no longer has the ability to go bonfire for Poplar. So this should shut him off the Sinful Spoils engine rather effectively. And the worst case here is Talents then plus Divel Star. Uh, and this still doesn't account for, you know, my further disruptions. I'm feeling pretty comfortable here even though it does now give me a little bit more of an opening to Talents. Okay. Let's try. Okay. So where's the pots to hold it? But I don't want you to get a. If you have a fire thing, yeah, I'm gonna use the fire to send it off. Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, we'll get the next one. Next one got nothing. Ooh, that hand sucks. Actually, game one went pretty favorably for me. This is where the Voices deck feels rather strong. You know, your interrupts are pretty diversified and they're rather strong for what they are and for very few cards. If they don't get the ball rolling, Fire King can struggle, so clear example of that. Feeling pretty good. 
Thank you guys for watching the video. A great way to support the channel is to get the TSX1 sleeves on TSX1.com. These are the sleeves I use at every event. They are fantastic quality. They feel really great to shuffle in your hand, your deck, fanning out your grave. They slide really smoothly and they last the entire tournament. So you're not compromising the quality either. If you use the code POTATO10 on the website, you'll get 10% off across everything. Right, Alex. Well, good luck, Jesse. Uh, I'll start this time. Sure, we need it. I do. <clears throat> Stay in my face, my face on. Yes, sir. Actually, bonfire. No. Oh, it's pretty good. The tale is all this time. What do we ash versus act like Fire King? Well, I decided to go Bonfai here because there's a decent chance this bricks him, right? And it's likely that if he's starting with this, he doesn't have an Ash in his hand. A Snake Eye Ash, that is. It also means it's probably not a Diabell Star. Oftentimes you want to lead that first and then go from there uh, because you're weaker into Droll and you also know less about what's going on. But let's see. I think Ash in the Bonfai here should be the best option. Mm, probably like a real duelist, please, and uh, put your deck in the graveyard in the right it's spot. Absolutely right. <laughs> and then I, uh, I'll go Sanctuary Effect. Yeah. Place uh, this island. Sure. Um. What comes next? That's what I'm thinking here. This is the weird part of the play. I'll special some die bell, start sending Sanctuary. Push to die bell star. Attack mode. I guess you know what I'm playing. Uh. Oh. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Okay, so we did have Die Bell Star. Maybe it's a bit presumptuous to assume he wouldn't have had it. However, I did have another layer of protection to stop it, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable either way. Now, I have an Imperm in my hand, and you may be inclined to use Imperm over Veiler in this spot. However, because I've already played in the Talents, it's rather just hold the Imperm. Uh, in case you can play through it, it'll check the Napalusa. Uh, now he has the island in place, so and because I have the Ashen Grave, that means any monster in his hand will threaten a Hita into Princess or Selene into either Apo or Ambla Whale. So I'm not out of the woods yet, but I'm still feeling pretty comfortable. No response. Um, what do you got for me? Uh, island effect. Uh, yeah. I'm in a very interesting position. Jesse had hand shot me twice, and I'm not really sure what to do. I have my island live, and I have a Flame Birds and an Oak in my hand, and I can either destroy the, I can normal summon the oak, maybe make Hita, and I can go princess it back for an interesting play with Ash, uh, Snake Eye Ash, or I can activate Island and destroy Flame Birds and go Garunix and do a play that way. I decide that's the best road because I think it plays through hand traps better. Um, put them Flame Birds. All right, nothing in your grave right now, so that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately cannot use the Reborn effect, but I will add Garunix, yeah, um, so and I'll good. use the effect um, of Grunix to special yep. summon? Sure. And I'll use the effect on summon? Sure. To, I'll open the Ponyx here. Um, um, anything here? Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to link these two off into Hita. I use Hita effect is that your on command. Ash. And then I'm gonna leak these two away. Now, normally I make Princess, but I have Die Bellstar on the grave, so I'm gonna go into Selene here. Sure. And I have three counters, because I have three spells. Then I'll use the effect to summon back the Die Bellstar from my graveyard. Yep. And then I'm gonna link these two off into a Appaloosa. Two. Two, yep. Um, now, I will normal summon my Snake Eye Oak. Um, and use the effect on Ponyx. Permit. That is fine. Man, this guy is everything. Oh my god. Imperm, Baylor, Ash. Ugh. I guess I'll just end on Appaloosa. Okay, so I have to Imperm the Oak here. I was hoping to just hold the Imperm for the Appaloosa because that would have meant I can just kill him. Although his last card being Oak is, you know, threatened. Being able to bring back the Ponyx, get the search off that, and then send search for, uh, you know, other cards like Ash, and then into uh, Flame Burge, Princess, the whole ordeal, that would have been too much to deal with. So Imperming here 
I'm gonna cut some off. However, the one Appalooza I currently know I'm an out for, and I have many outs to it, but depends on the top back. Um. I think I just do this. Now, don't underestimate my Karibos over here. This Link Rebo is carrying me because it's making sure that my app loose so I can stay on board to stop his important monster effects. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Draw phase. Stand by. Oh, he's back. the effective Ponix since it was destroyed by Karibos? Yeah. Not a great solution here for me. I didn't draw any of my normal summons, so I have no low, I don't have Diviner. Uh, and it means I don't have a way to chain block his Appaloosa. And because I also don't have a normal summon, I also just have no way of, of forcing through the Apo. It leaves me in a weird spot. I really can't accomplish much. And because I don't have access to low, it also means I have no negates. Uh, it's very much not where I want to be. And because he popped Ponix last turn, he also has guaranteed follow-up. It's crazy that even with three hand traps, I probably just lose this game. This it works. Pre prep. Yeah. Or does it work? I don't know if it actually works. No, that's pretty powerful. Pre prep plus three other ash in front. Yeah, well, I don't think I have a ritual deck, so. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you can tribute to Ash. <laughs> yeah, the only one that's actually played both the tributes to Kinabiru. In fact, this is if you're. Uh. What does it do? Uh, that's me sends a ritual spell from Nectar Grave to add a ritual monster. Once in the grave, I can banish it to count as a ritual spell. I'll, uh, I'll use that boost on that. How the hell do I beat this? I don't really have a whole lot to play with next turn, so. I mean, I have nothing to play with. Jesse's like, I got nothing but a prayer. Sure. Effect the search. Uh. What's the <laughs> I need to control the low. I'll uh sorry. I'll attempt to negate that. Yeah. Typhon? Uh yeah. Let's bounce the Karibo. Attack at twenty nine. Mm -hmm. I just saw you better. Go ahead. It's probably right. the best I can do. Oh nope. that feels bad. That was the best I could do. I don't have an almost on this deck is oof. <clears throat> Stand by phase, main phase one? Yeah. Um, I'll use the effect of Fire Cannon Island. Yeah. To add a Kieran from my deck in my hand to Burnix. Yeah. Do you have a dark in your grave? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, care effect? You don't have a dark in your grave. True. True. Uh, I bet I found. That was all to search. Circle. Play circle. Uh oh. Is that British? What? Is that like a British accent? I just said uh oh. I don't know what's so weird about the way I, what how I said uh oh. It sounded British according to Ryan. You may have tried to suppress him, but Grieve was back. Hmm. <laughs> you like dark? Your Majesty. Welcome back, Typhon. <laughs> uh, effect? Yeah. 
I am very dead. We will be going to game three duelist. And for those who don't know the play, it's linked these two off into World C. You still have everything. It does not, yeah, it does not matter. You know, three hand traps was very powerful, but this fire deck is absolute gas. I was able to end on two negates through it and destroy this so-called champion. All right, so there's a good example of what I'm not a huge fan of with Voiceless Voice deck. You know, at the end of the day, it's still a ritual deck where you're not playing some super close to your chest deck that can play with one card super easily. While there are combinations that do that in the Voiceless deck, you still need a lot of the times to string combos together. And while I had that, after three hand traps, I couldn't do that and then also play through Appalooza. Now, that may be a lot to ask for to have three hand traps and play through Appalooza, but it feels like other decks like Fire King can do that sometimes. And um, yeah, not the best show from the Voices deck here, you know. pre prep was three hands, I really should have got there. All right, Elk. All right, game three. So I went right. That's how it usually goes. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, I'll start. All right, good luck. Uh, main phase one? Yep. I'll take pre-preparation rights. Uh, that's fine. I have the prayer. I'm gonna add no box. Uh, not no box, whatever it's called, this thing. Or do you think priority and resolution? Nope. You're good. <laughs> you think you're funny? I you am. think you're funny? I am. I wanna activate it. That's fine. I'll sack one for one. Yep. Effect search. Uh, no response. So I'll get my no box or my low calls now. You no. Know, almost sign effect. The barrier. Uh, and then barrier effect search. That's fine. Yu-Gi-Oh was giving the mind, Jesse. Gotta get into the head. And what are you trying to explain to me here? I'm trying to teach you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Jesse. Oh. How thank many you. how many uh I don't think I, I don't think I can say anything. Yeah, how uh, many can you, can how, you how, how many locals have you won in the past week? Uh yeah, that's what zero. I zero. How many have you won, I guess? Don't worry about that. I was probably up yeah. <laughs> I got seventh yesterday. You're supposed to say top eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Draw for turn. <clears throat> Stand my face, my first one. Yeah. I want some ash effect. I want some ash effect. Um, I will impermit. That's fine. All right, so the imperm here on Snake Eye Ash is a bit debatable. I do want to stop Ash. I think that card is. <laughs> really powerful. Uh, but if I use my Skull Guardian here, it opens up the talents. And as I said, game one, I would like to reserve that for talents. And on my game one, with all the cards in his hand, without him using Bonfire yet, I think just using Skull Guardian here would be a bit preemptive, a bit early. The Imperm isn't great either. It does play around talents. However, it does leave me exposed to a Kirin here. However, I still ultimately think it's worth stopping. And if he has Kirin, I can adjust. It's not like it's the end of the world for me. Response. No response. Nice. Activate. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. Oh, he's bonfire here. I uh, sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had poplar and then I'll trigger poplar. Special shopping sign. That's fine. Can you use both effects on the same turn? No. Okay. okay. And a new channel will go trigger a uh, pop push on the one. Then shouldn't do effects. Alright, that's fine. Huzzah! My mighty Saravis has appeared. All right, so we have the Saravis out here now because 
I'm expecting an SP or a Phoenix or even a Big Link 3 come out. And that's exactly what Stravis is for, is to stop those from hitting the field. Uh, I want to protect my back row here because I think those are going to be the most important cards to securing the win. They prevent him from making really big threats on field. And they also protect uh, my follow-up. I think it's weird. <laughs> um, I'll add original off of Poplar. Yeah, no response. It's fine. Hmm. Bit of a pinkle now. Are you my good friend? I am. You have a negate for anything. You have a negate for my inherent summons. It's pretty tough, but uh, hopefully I can get through this. Um, I'm gonna link away Poplar into Poplar. Uh, into Linker by here. Yeah. That'll trigger the effect of Poplar targeting itself. Sure. I'm gonna put face up in this top trap zone. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh, actually, you almost did it again. I wasn't gonna do it there. I promise you. Don't worry. Activate simple spoils, sending proper. <laughs> I've, ne uh, I've never activated anything that's an Imperm Calm before, don't worry. Oh, a Resolved Imperm Calm. How about, how, about, how about that? On purpose. How many times have you played into the Imperm Calm in the world's zero? That's true. That's how many times have <laughs> I played into the Imperm Calm in the world's Yeah, I have played that. I have done that. Uh, how many times have you had all of your zones, Alec? <laughs> 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 oh. Sorry, I had to throw one out there for Jesse. You gotta give him a gotta give him a bone. Shut the hell. Up. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. I want to play around talents. I think. Right. I'll summon oak. And I'll oak. Tr I'll trigger the effect of oak. 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 oak, oak. oak. Sure. Oak is a card. I'm just saying random words. Okay, you got the sickest underworld goddess of all time. Uh, it's good. You got me. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thinking here. Uh, so, what is this? Do I have my turn? The spell? Uh, it's just my guess I'm targetable. Mix which guys? All of them. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> Very good to know! Um, <laughs> you only attack these, and you cannot target any light monsters. Okay. That's pretty good. That actually is really annoying. Hold up. Um, That's why it's barrier. It's a barrier from all the targeting. True. <laughs> I could have played into Anima, and then you just can't even target it. Hmm. I'll go... Yeah, I'll go... So I was thinking about my plays and I decided that I wanted to Phoenix in order to force out this Cerevis. I feel like Cerevis was pretty imposing on my board and I wanted my SP to stick. So I feel like getting rid of it then was probably the best course of action. Lose that Phoenix. Check my back row. Hmm. Well, I stopped the Phoenix here because it would've got a draw and then it also would've gotten rid of one of my spell or trap cards, both of which would've been helpful for next turn and also protect my current field, so. I'm happy doing this. The Saravis in hand will also protect me from a potential Promethean or SP down the line. So I want to get left to your how many hand? Quattro? Yeah. Um. What's the math on this? 
What, what, what's that, what does it do to me? I have to control this. Okay. And then, what does this do again? Sorry. Uh, I'll use the field to control this, comes back, and then switches. Okay, cool. Um, I'll we'll go... Okay, fine. So, I have a bunch of hand extenders, and he has a negate, and I really want to get rid of it. So, I think the best course of action is using my oak, which is a great opportunity for him to use his negate, because I'm getting rid of two of my monsters, but I can just replenish them and be able to keep up my board presence without the fear of him negating my cards. That's fine. Okay, so we have to remember, like we did before, we want to hold this Guardian for a Talents, or to the point where we feel like if he has Talents, it'll be almost useless. So it's a tough spot here, but with by using Oak, he's down to zero monsters in field, and his normal summon committed, and his bonfire used, and his spoils used. I think it's worth me stopping this here, and my follow-up should be enough to win the game. Uh, I want to. Sure. I want to fight. You have Flamebridge in hand? No. I, it's resolving, yeah, I got it. Okay. Cool, great. Flamebridge in hand would have been nasty. I don't have a chance. That would have been really insane. Uh, Grunix effect? Your Runix effect. Yeah, that's good. Um... Effect. Yep. Sure. Uh, Kieran. Sure. Uh, summon pop. Uh. So th th this can die by card effects, so it just... This says when you kill a ritual by card effect, you can summon one from the deck. Okay, so I'll probably put the targeting thing. Pop the barrier. Alright. Uh, effect? Effect to search. Right, you play circle. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um. Special. Effect. Yeah. Set a wanted right. Some golden grave. Cool. Set like wanted. Right. Yeah. So while it's on the field, it doubles the attack. And this one says, if a ritual summoned while it's on the grave, it comes back. Okay. And then, what's the requirement for this to trigger? A card effect. So if you buy battle, it will not trigger. Okay. And it just has to leave the field? By card effect, yeah. Okay. Damn. I don't think I can kill you. Kill me? I don't think I can. No chance, my friend. That's what I was kind of hoping for, to be honest. Uh... If you have it, you have it. I have it, I have it. Yeah, I might as well. Dude, no way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I. Three times, one turn. To be fair, neither, none of the times that I activated it in the column, to be fair. <laughs> First two times I did it as a joke. This time I didn't release the card. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's circle resolved. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm in deep thought. Okay, I'm in deep thought. Uh. <laughs> I'll go uh, back to Ash. Yeah. <laughs> that isn't funny. Ash Sand Island. Uh, um, it's, 
if I do this, target my thing, you can't survey this, right? Huh? No, it's when you target my card. Okay. I don't think I can do it at some point. Link do. And so that's a double attack, you said? It's double the attack, yeah. Uh, trigger flame rush. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, that's what I probably supposed to do is link this away and then revive Kieran. it just to have a Kribo on field. Add Kieran. Okay. Um. Spectre Grave. Want to link your map? Sure. Again, eh? Yeah, that's the game plan here. Fuck the Sure. Yeah. So, uh, I can can I attack this? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now this is gone. You can. Okay. Uh, and then if it dies, nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'll go battle. I'll attack. Okay. Chase twenty one fifty or twenty two fifty. Okay. Um main phase two. Yeah. Um Thank you. Oh so shit. Why didn't you just clear my field when you had monsters with attack points? I I thought I I d I don't like cards do. I thought that I could attack over it. After you kill this it goes down to two thousand fifty again. Oh, Sorry, I thought that it was just permanently at a nope. doubled. That's my bad. Um, <laughs> uh, thinking. Yeah, no, it's your your, your voice is voice too. Come on, Alec. That's my bad. That's my bad. Uh. <laughs> so, so shit. Um. Here. Uh, Dude, this is brutal. Uh, you got to play? <sighs> Sorry, I, 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 I don't, I. <laughs> I got ahead of myself again. I, I, I was supposed to make princess here. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> shut the <laughs> f up. Oh, uh, Alec. Like... Okay, alright. Let's, let's do a little rewind here. Princess, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, some princess. Yeah. Um, I will use the effect of princess on Flanders. Sure. <clears throat> I'll link two. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we'll link the two off rather into uh, a. A bottle? Yeah. Uh, let's see which stack this is at. One, two, three. Three links. So it is at uh, 32. Yep. Um, I will attempt to leave the main phase. Yeah. Um, I'll declare an attack with uh, the flame version to the below. I'll take 2950. 2950, yep. And then I'll attack with uh, the bomb whale into the, sure. um, the ritual. So I take 850. Um, main phase two. Um, 
and I will pass to him. I want a way to play next turn, but also a way to stop him. And so the best way to do that is to set up Amble Will. Amble Will plus Flame Verge means that I have a great way to play next turn, as well as a way to stop him using Princess targeting the Will. Okay, so we, he was able to do a lot more than honestly I expected through what I had. And I'm in a rather weird spot now. I, I'm, I'm now in the grind with a deck I never grinded with. And this is why practicing is important. I need to figure out the best way of dealing with these floaters. He has the floaters from Garunix, the Princess Engrave as well, which I can check with Sarvis, but it's not great. Uh, he has the Ambler Whale, and then he also has the Flame Verge, as well as a full hand. So navigating this is going to be tricky, but this is what we test for. Drop the turn. Main phase one. Uh, stand my face? Sure. Flick the parks? Sure. <laughs> so that's a wanted face down. Maybe. Could be. Back to search. Thinking. Thinking. That's fine. I'll get my barrier. Go back to search. I get Sephira. Activate Sephira. Pitch a virtual spell, Adrenal Monster. Right? Send, we have Send Vector Grave, Adrenal Monster. Oh, uh, Send Vector Grave, okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> send the virtual spell at. And then Sephiric Graveyard Effects start getting the players. Um, and then it makes itself it it, it makes it the ritual. It card, yeah, it becomes ritual spell. Becomes ritual spell. Um, that's fine. I'm just gonna attribute that. Special uh, effect to search. Um. That's fine. Search for a normal summon. Doesn't really matter. I'll search for Sephira. Mm -hmm. How do I clear all this? the ritual spell to shuffle back my Serratus and Grave. Uh, sure. Our other just let me do the trap. Sure. Special summon from deck low. I probably should have done first to be honest. Special summon the Seravis. I shall make two spells at the back. One, two. Mm -hmm. And then, hold on. I'm 
I will link for Anima. Thank you. Um. I'll use Princess here. On um, Whale and then. Yeah, I'll Saravis that. Uh, that is fine. And then I will. Link two. Uh, Mr. Grave. And SP will target the Garunits. Thank you. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Enter battle phase. Uh, sure. Declare an attack. Oh, should yeah, it uh, yeah, it's going to get it, though. Yeah, 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 it doesn't target it, sorry. Oh, targets, sorry. Right. We'll get it. This card seems right. This card seems right. Um... I have main phase two. Mm-hmm. I'll pass turn. All right, so I'm looking back on this turn, and I really did way less than I expected to, and uh, this definitely is on me. So one thing I'm noticing is I never really use Lowe's effect to revive itself from the grave, uh, I, and I was trying to play around, you know, targeting traps when I was doing my plays, but there had to have been something different I could have done. Uh, for one, I probably could have special summoned from the deck earlier and then used that for tribute fodder, or even just link that off first before, before ritual summoning. That would have given me an extra body to do more with. Uh, could have made something like a Donamondo maybe. There were more options for me that I didn't really navigate through. So now I'm finding myself here, I really need to delve with the Flame Bridge and the Grunix. The Princess and the Amber Oil are still there, and they're both pretty threatening, as well as a full hand. So now uh, we're on the defensive again, and we have less disruptions than last time. Not exactly where I wanted to be. Uh, yeah, I messed up. It's okay, me too. Uh, oh, and Phase 1. Phase 1, yeah. Uh, we're getting out of the I'll go effective um, Snake Anger uh, on the Ash. Sure. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yep. I use the back of the line for that. Sure. Um, normal summon stick ash is the effect. Sure. Okay. I'll add stick I popular or popular and use the effect there. Uh, yeah. 
Special? Effect on sound? Sure. Wait, I'll do resist on guy. Sure. Um... And new channel is the effect of Poplar. Sure. Placed in the small trap. Sure. Or, sorry, targeting the uh, flame burst placed in the small trap. Targeting the flame burst. Can I cut Sorry, five? Um, uh, six. Do any fires or darks? I don't. Okay. I actually have anima. Anima? Okay. Um. So I want to get rid of his interruption, and I also have a bunch of monsters on my feet. Best way to do this, summon Appaloosa, talents take. Appaloosa, sure. So there's three on it? Yep. Veil or two. I mean, I guess a beta did an interruption, but this is looking pretty bad. Huh? SP. Um.
So this makes it so that I can't target them for attacks, you said? You can target this one for attacks. I'll target them for attacks? Okay. Um... I guess... Cure? Sure. Um... I'll link these two into a level light. Level light effect targeting the barrier. Sure. Um, then I will go into uh, battle phase yep. here and attack the low. Sure. Um, main phase two. Um, I will. <clears throat> I will go. Can I check your gear real quick? Yep. Thanks. Uh, I'll go out with entries. Press P and spam as well. Drop Mm-hmm. Uh, main phase one. Stand by the So, yeah. I'm now realizing an issue with what I did. While I didn't clear his resources the best, I also really diminished my own pretty badly. And I'm looking at what I have, and I don't know how to get the Saravis back, the, the effect monster Saravis. I linked it away and I'm not sure what to do, as well as my trap card. My, my trap uh, barrier, it's gone. I sacked it off and that also means I can't shuffle back more rituals, so those are also gone. And I also have three lows in the grave, which means if I can't summon a ritual monster, those can't come back either. Now, I've managed to burn through most of my engine, and honestly, I'm not sure how I did it, which is not a good thing. So I'm in a really bad spot here. I managed to empty out my own resources, while seemingly his have just kept on pretty strong. Now his extra deck is seeming to get it pretty thin, and the cards he's summoning aren't that impactful, but I'm doing even less than that. Tribute? Or discard effects? Um, that is fine. And add service. This is a grinder. It is. myself out of resource to just really unfortunate. Oops. Battle phase. Mm -hmm. really annoying. Hmm. How do I deal with all the floaters? Uh, there's no way it's this. Yeah. I don't... Uh... I don't think I can talk to that. 
Um, no, I kind of have to. Yeah, I'll, uh, sorry, this, yeah. No, but that's, that's the one. I'll pass to him. So they're obviously here to protect my Typhon, and it clears their fields, but I know he has a full hand. The princess, despite not hitting the field, has put a lot of pressure on. And with discarding the Saravis here, I'm actually not sure what I do next because I don't play any more ritual monsters. All four in the grave. And I don't have a ritual spell in the deck to search on pre-prep, so I can't add it back to a monster in that regard. I think I may just lose the game here. I may be Typhon control that deck from this one out. And I'm not sure that'll be enough. Um, Empress. Um, how did I bounce her? Yeah. Low resources continues for the fire deck. Sorry, Jesse, but it's about to be game over for you. Yep. Holy. Huh? Okay. Special pitching. It's, uh, yeah. Sure. In fact. Um, chain itself in here. Yeah, it's fine. I'll set the water. Sure. Perfect. I'll go for... Uh, I'll go for Poplar. Sure. Um... In effect, or if you want to do a cut. Oh, oh sorry, I searched first. What's happening? Um, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, you search first. I'm right? searching first. You... Yeah, my bad. Show with that. Yeah, and those are both on the bottom. And then Papa goes to the bottom, and then Wanda. Yeah, and then that goes to the bottom. Stick at the bottom. Sure. Sorry. I offered to cut a little too early. Huh? So I'll draw one? Yeah, you're good. Um, you've used these searches so many times. <laughs> yeah, li literally. Like I've used all three wannons and the. It's pretty good. Um, normal summon oak. I use the effect on uh, ash. Yeah. Effective ash on summon. Yeah. Poplar, poplar effect. Yep. Poplar effect on summon. Yep. I'm gonna link to in Tahita. <laughs> Then I'm gonna link. Mazel tov. <laughs> what <does that> mean? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I used the effect of Poplar. <laughs> so, oh man. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. Um, yeah. I never said my bad. I can't use. Already use that. Yeah. Um, I'll go effect of uh, Karen. Hell yeah, another one. Okay. <laughs> yep. Someone? Sure. Thanks. You Yes, yes, Pop. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Summon. Yes, 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 Alec. Like, you win. You win. You can have this one. <laughs> Goliath has triumphed. Jesse, thank you for the game. It was an excellent match. Once again, a very, very, very great duelist. But in the end, the Overlord has triumphed. GG's. That's all for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. This type of testing is very helpful for us to learn. And I hope it's informative for you, too, seeing the process we go through as we learn to deck, as we learn interactions and then how we apply that to improve our play moving forwards. If you want to see more of it, please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it and if any improvements as well, just let me know what you want to see.
Thank you guys for watching the video. A great way to support the channel is to get the TSX1 sleeves on TSX1.com. These are the sleeves I use at every event. They are fantastic quality. They feel really great to shuffle in your hand, your deck, fanning out your grave. They're to slide really smoothly and they last the entire tournament. So you're not compromising quality either. If you use the code POTATO10 on the website, you'll get 10% off across everything.